A portion of this video was sponsored by Southern New Hampshire University. What is going on everybody? Welcome back. MTG here with another episode. If you're new to the channel, hi there. So this is the 13 inch M2 MacBook Air, the base model. I've been using it for about a year now. And at the time of this recording, the 15 inch MacBook Air is official. I have ordered it. I will be testing that out as well, but I wanna share with you guys my thoughts and opinions of using this overall. And I wanna make note that this is the base model and I use this to produce content to edit videos for the channel. So I wanna share my thoughts about that as well. So without further delay, let's dive right in. So starting off with design. I absolutely love this design, but there's a problem with this. It's a fingerprint magnet yeah like i'm not gonna sit down here and wipe it down just for the video because it's gonna collect fingerprints throughout the video anyway nonetheless i like the redesign when compared to the previous macbook air I like how it has touch id this is my first macbook that i'm using with touch id it's definitely much thinner it's lighter it has a pro like design it's easy to carry it has magsafe right here and two thunderbolt port cable or ports uh, and also has a headphone jack. I haven't used a headphone jack once the entire year I've had the M2 MacBook Air. But overall, I like this design. This notch right here doesn't bother me at all. In fact, it feels pretty refreshing to have a new unique design and display when compared to its predecessor, which had just more bezel all around. Maybe I kind of wish there was less, even less bezel around, but that's okay. I don't mind this, uh, but there's design, it's very straightforward. Like it, it's a great 13 inch uh, computing device to carry, very thin and light to use. So I'm a recent Bachelor of Business Administration concentrating in technology management graduate, and I absolutely love how I'm able to take the skills I have learned and implement them into my YouTube channel. However, I don't think I'm done just yet. There's so much I want to learn to help grow my YouTube channel. That is why I'm excited to tell you about today's sponsor, Southern New Hampshire University. SNHU has one of the largest accredited nonprofit online degree offerings in the country. I want to talk to you about their data analytics program. In this program, you'll use industry tools to gather, interpret, and visualize data techniques most appropriate for a given challenge. Use quantitative and qualitative data analytics methods to respond to a variety of business challenges. Develop analytical requirements and communicate solutions to technical and non-technical audiences. Apply data analytics standards and policies to meet the security needs of organizations. And in addition, you'll develop the soft skills necessary to be a vital decision maker within an organization. Communication, storytelling, problem solving, data visualization, and more. SNHU is radically affordable. Their online tuition rates are some of the lowest in the nation. Go to snhu.edu slash mtgproductions, which is also going to be linked in my description down below, to see what the current average annual salaries are for your desired program, for this program and for what you're looking for, and request free information about the program. When you request information, a real person is going to hop on a call and discuss how the program can benefit you personally. It only takes one click to find your calling. That's gonna bring me into performance, which is the biggest story about this M2 MacBook Air. Now coming from an Intel based, I don't even remember the generation. It was a 2017 MacBook Pro base model. Uh, it was an Intel Core i5. Coming from that to this is huge. It's a huge upgrade for me at least. Now my model, eight gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of SSD. So I went and got the base storage. Now using it for daily tasks, like writing articles on Medium, researching papers for college, browsing the web and PowerPoints is a breeze. And I, I absolutely enjoyed using the M2 MacBook Air for college. I had originally purchased this device 
uh, primarily for the YouTube channel for producing content using Final Cut Pro, but I ended up using it for school and it did great wonders. Like it, it did a great job getting me throughout my final year uh, as a technology management major. However, if you guys know me, uh, you know this channel, I'm a YouTube, like I'm using YouTube quite frequently, whether that's making videos or watching videos. And while my video editing isn't too intense, I still use Final Cut Pro and it has not had any hiccups whatsoever with my previous MacBook Pro. Like, first of all, the battery life, which I'm going to get into, it wouldn't last more than an hour, uh, especially when I use Final Cut Pro, just die out on me out of nowhere. Uh, but second of all, that would have lots of hiccups. It would just start heating up real quickly. Like I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even have more than two streams and it would, two streams of content, of video, and it would just start heating up and it'd get real hot to the touch. My MacBook here, this MacBook Air M2, never has gotten warm to the touch when editing videos whatsoever. And that is a good thing because this machine, it doesn't have a fan built in. So if you're looking to use this device, whether it's for photo or video editing, and you can do some more heavy intensive tasks, you can do a little bit more heavy video editing too, it's, it should get the job done. Because from my experience, this is my main editing machine and I'm very happy with it. So like, if you're going to start off uh, producing uh, videos, making videos for YouTube or other types of content, or it's for photos, this is a great device to start off with and with the base model as well, especially from my experience. However, if your video editing requires more rendering and post-production, then I think MacBook Air, at least this M2, this base model especially, may cause some hiccups along the way. Again, I, I'm, I don't know that much because I don't have too much of an intensive workflow, but it, it, that's just the way it looks like. Uh, maybe you wanna get an upgraded M2 MacBook Air. That's your choice. But overall daily performance, if you're a college student, especially starting off college this year, I think this is the perfect computing device. That's gonna bring me into battery life with M2 MacBook Air. As a college student, and for those who are continuing college, starting off college this year, looking for a new device, a new computing device, M2 MacBook Air, it brings some really good improvements. It lasts all day, I can tell you that. I can easily go almost four days of no video editing with no charge. Like I don't need to worry about charging this device uh, when I'm not video editing. Obviously video editing, I do need to charge it, especially if I'm editing all day. But if I, if I just go three, four days without editing, it lasts me all day. I don't need to worry about bringing my MagSafe charger on a weekend trip because I'm not gonna be editing on a weekend trip, for example. MagSafe though has come in really clutch to charge this M2 MacBook Air. However, I can say that one year later of using the M2 MacBook Air as my main computing device, the battery life, it's not the same as day one. It's great, it, like it's still really good. It'll last me three, four days without video editing. But with video editing, that's where I see the biggest downside. It doesn't last as long. So like I would be able to edit a full video, export it, and from 100, it would drop down to like 85, 86. Now that's like about 75 to 80%. So that's a bummer. And that's normal because after a year, I mean, you've charged this, you've used the battery, so it's going to have some battery degradation. So just keep that in mind. But if you're not using, you're going to buy this for college work, for PowerPoints, Microsoft documents, presentations, whatnot, this is going to be a great device. And that's gonna lead me into price. So when I picked this up last year, the starting base model price was $1,199 when it came out last year. But now 15 inch MacBook Air is official, it's available. 13 inch has dropped to 10.99 with the education discount you can pick one up this device right here for 9.99 that's pretty good for 9.99 for this model i think you should pick this up over the m1 macbook air which is still available that has an older design older chipset nonetheless i mean m1 to m2 it's not like a huge huge substantial improvement 
but you're getting an older design too. And this is just going to last a little bit longer. It has MagSafe, so do keep that in mind as well. It's just overall redesign, newer chip, $9.99 with education discount from Apple. I think that's a pretty good pricing. So good job, Apple, you did a good job by lowering the price of the 13 inch MacBook Air. Now that 15 inch is available. Overall, like my overall thoughts about using this device one year later, I'm super happy I went ahead and picked this up for, for like the past year before this when M1 Pro and M1 Max MacBook Pro was released. Like I was waiting for those devices to come out so I can upgrade, but I just couldn't justify, uh, first of all, the price tag, but also the fact that like, those chipsets and now the M2 Pro, M2 Max, M2 Ultra are out. Those don't really fit my workflow because they're a little too powerful for what I do. I don't need that much computing power. Uh, M2 and probably when M3 comes out is perfectly fine for my workflow. Maybe in the future when my workflow becomes a little bit more intense then I'm going to upgrade. But I wasn't able to justify at, M1 Pro, MacBook Pro. I really wanted it, but when this was announced, I was like, this, this is going to be that device I'm going to use for my videos. And I ended up using it for college too. And it got me through college as a technology management major. So huge things to this M2 MacBook Air. But that about wraps up this video. Absolutely love this device. Absolutely would recommend it, especially if you are starting off college and congratulations to all those graduates uh, whether whenever you're watching this video uh, maybe you're watching this video towards september late august when colleges are starting up again the semester uh, so congratulations on starting college but i can definitely recommend this for anyone whether you're a college graduate whether you're entering college whether you're looking for just daily light tasks and you want a long lasting computing device, M2 MacBook Air is going to be that device. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, be sure to superman the like button, comment down below and best of all, share this video because it really does help out the channel and will help push my content out to more people. That's been it for me. I'll catch you guys in the next episode.